Dearly beloved, I greet you in the name of Jesus Christ. At Prayer Mount, this place is the Prayer Walk Garden. Prayer Walk Garden. Here you're seeing so many things, right? These are individual cubes and in each are the maps, information and prayer points of each districts in Tamil Nadu. In languages Tamil, English, Malayalam, Hindi, in four parts. After crossing this, there is a prayer walk garden for India. Details about each state in India, their maps, information and prayer points are there. Next is the prayer points for the world. There will be details about the continents and the prayer points. If we start walking through this as you pray, even if you just pray two minutes for a district, when you finish praying for this and for India, you would have completed praying for two hours fervently. Many come here and pray like this. Thousands of people come here to pray. There will be a great happiness in your hearts for praying for so many districts and states. Even you can also come together as a family or as a group or pray individually or in a group. Now God has spoken a wonderful word in Proverbs chapter 4 verse 23. Above all else, guard your heart. Isn't it a wonderful word by Lord God? Today it's said to be World Heart Day. As many are being affected with heart diseases and die, even many are affected by this in India. There are so many people who suffer with heart problems worldwide. So we must be very careful to guard our heart healthy. There are many advices on how to eat and exercise for that, isn't it? So our body, the heart, created by God, our body is the temple of God. It is our duty to safeguard it well and healthy. That's why we must be careful with our food habits. We must walk regularly. It is said with much care that if we pay attention to all of these, our hearts will be healthy. Similarly, God says your heart is very important. Only when your heart is holy, God will be able to come and speak to you. Blessed are the pure in heart for they will see God. Jesus Christ says it in Matthew chapter 5. So our hearts must be pure. Hearts must be free from the stains of sin. That's why the Bible says guard your heart with all diligence. Jesus says in Mark chapter 7 and verse 21. For from within out of the heart of men proceed evil thoughts, adulteries, fornications, murders, thefts, covetousness, wickedness, deceit, lewdness, an evil eye, blasphemy, pride, foolishness. All these evil things defile a man. Do you see how important our heart is? We must pay attention to keep our hearts pure. There's only one thing to purify the heart. It is the blood of Jesus Christ. His blood will cleanse our heart from all sin. After that, we must safeguard our hearts. We must safeguard it so that no sin can stay within that. That's why we have the Word of God. The Word of God will sanctify us. So as we read it every day and keep meditating on it, there will be a holiness in our heart. As we keep praying every day to be washed in the blood of Jesus Christ, we will be cleansed. As we keep praying in tongues, being filled with the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit will work within us to keep us holy. So we must be very careful to guard our hearts holy. Okay, now, now examine your heart. Is there any dirt in your heart? Just think, if Jesus is holy and happy in it, if not, submit your heart to God now and ask, Dear God, please wash my heart with your blood and make it holy. My heart should be always filled by your word. Please fill me with the Holy Spirit and help me so that my heart will be always holy. Dear God, you should be always happy within my heart. I submit myself to safeguard my heart with all diligence so that it will not be stained or impure. Please help me in this regard. 
I pray in the name of Jesus Christ, dear Father. Amen. Amen.